Welcome back to Honor Football. Today's detailed review is going to be on the UA Highlight MC football cleat. This is the 2016 version, very similar to the 2015 version. I didn't do a review last year, so I'm doing one now. And uh, what you'll see is it'll be the same cleat as last year with different colorways. I'm gonna go into all the things I usually cover off on in cleats, the fit, the weight, the ventilation, the traction, and of course, the durability. So without further ado, let's get into the detailed review. Kicking off this review with just the style of the cleat. So this is the first Highlight MC. It's kind of two-toned. You can see it's black on one side. This is the black and gold colorway with uh, gold on the inside. So I really love the two-toned look. If you look at the back, it says Under Armour, uh, you know, down the back of the heel, which kind of gives it, reminds me of uh, boxing, you know, boxing boots or boxing cleats, um, you know, boxing shorts with the big, bold Under Armour label on it. I'm loving the way that that looks. You've got the metallic, under Armour symbol here right on the toe of it, big and bold again, of course, with Under Armour style. And then with this Highlight MC, of course, different than the last highlight that I reviewed, is you've got a different cut in actually the upper of the cleat. And so this cut actually allows for uh, more of a custom fit because you can, each of these can wrap in different ways versus the older highlight that if you watch my channel and watch the clear reviews, you'll know is uh, was very much straight. So already you're gonna know that you're gonna get a little bit of a better fit on the upper of the cleat, which was a sticking point for them. Uh, they of course improved the quality versus the first version and the second version where um, you're not gonna get those tears up and down the heel. So they fixed that a couple years ago and that continues in this cleat. There's three main pieces of technology in this cleat that separate them from other cleats on the market. The first is gonna be the clutch fit. So this entire upper's clutch fit is more of their custom fit, what gives you that nice snug feel when you put the cleat on all around your ankle and upper, providing a lot of support on the lower part of your, of your leg. Uh, the other part is gonna be the V56 technology. So I talked about the V56 technology when I did the spotlight review as well as the speed form review. So this is actually to prevent hyper extension in your toe. Uh, and so you can see here, it's a little green outline they have to represent their V56 technology. So no matter what colorway that you get, you will always see this uh, green uh, you know, kind of V uh, that outlines the technology in the bottom of the cleat. Uh, the other thing is going to be uh, the 3D molded interior, the insole. So that's something that they've had. Uh, it's kind of like their custom calling um, with a lot of their cleats. And uh, this is what makes it a super comfortable ride. It actually molds to your foot. So the more that you wear this cleat, uh, the more it's gonna actually shape to your foot. So the footbed is moldable uh, to your foot. Um, that's something, again, that they uh, have introduced in their cleats a while ago. So the third thing, and I know I've just covered off on three, but the three new things, so this is the third one, is going to be the, the traction plate. So they call this the Plasma X. Uh, again, this is some of their proprietary technology, but the Plasma X cleat is supposed to mimic your natural foot motion. This actually does allow for better traction than both the Speed Form and the uh, Spotlight cleats. Um, so now, getting to get into some of the ratings, of course, the first being with the actual fit. This fit is amazing, just like all the highlights uh, in the highlight line that I've tested. Uh, this did get a 9 out of 10. So the, the fit, if it's true to size, I wear a 12, this is a size 12. Uh, you know, you do have some challenges, because there's a high cleat, actually putting it on. So I actually have to, uh, I don't usually take out this top lace here, but it's really like making it loose all the way down and then tying it up. The cool thing about this one is, unlike some of the past highlights, is the laces are a good length. So the first highlights I had, actually the laces were too long, I had to stuff them in here, uh, you know, in between the laces, but now uh, I have enough lace to actually open the cleat, to slide my foot in, and to tie it up and not have it be too long. If you have a wide foot uh, or a very wide ankle, you may have to actually undo the lace from the top one while you put it on. So that may play with the, just the durability in the lace. So again, the fit, was nice, perfect, true to size, very nice and snug, gave it a nine out of 10. Now the weight of the cleat is where this cleat suffered a little bit. Obviously, uh, you've got this entire upper piece which is gonna make it a little bit of a heavier cleat. Um, it still didn't feel that heavy, but you are, uh, you know, you are carrying more weight. Uh, even though it is distributed a little bit differently than versus the bottom of your foot, it's distributed all along uh, your lower leg. Uh, but because it is a heavier cleat, I did give this a seven out of 10 for weight. The one thing that has really plagued the highlight line uh, since its inception is actually the ventilation in the cleat. Um, there's not a lot of breathability built into this cleat and because the cleat goes all the way up you know, to uh, above your ankle to a high top cleat, um, you're not getting a lot of airflow through the cleat. You know, they could have done some a little improvement in the tongue. Of course, this tongue is 
uh, one that molds to your body as well. It molds to your lower foot, uh, but it's not very breathable. And so because of all the, the lack of ventilation, uh, I gave this a six out of 10. Past highlight models really had some great cushioning because you do have that 4D uh, molded tongue and 4D uh, molded cushion at the bottom of the insole. With this cleat, I could actually use a little bit more cushioning in the heel of the cleat. Uh, the forefoot was perfect, it was fine, uh, you know, gave good ground feel, good toe off, uh, good traction. Uh, but in the heel, you know, I found like stomping on the ground, uh, especially on really hard surfaces when you really look at the short, uh, you know, artificial turf, um, you start to feel a pounding in your heel. Uh, so that's the only watch out here. Uh, but overall, it was decent cushioning and gave this a 7 out of 10 for cushioning. The durability of this cleat is on point. Everything is a highly constructed cleat. You're not going to get rips or tears. Um, again, the only challenge in terms of durability is going to be if you have to consistently uh, pull out these laces from the top and then put them back in during games, you're going to get some wear on the laces, uh, which, you know, as you, we've all experienced before, this will probably start to wear and then you'll have a difficulty putting it in. So just watch out, uh, depending if you have a very wide foot, uh, very, you know, thick ankles, um, it may be a little bit hard for you uh, to put on the cleat and then, of course, maintain the durability. Uh, that's the same thing with pulling the tongue and stretching it on. Um, this will, people always ask, will it last the whole season? Yes, it'll last the whole season, practice and games. Um, it is a very, very solid cleat. Uh, but with the durability, I did give it a 9 out of 10. Now, I mentioned before about the design of this cleat that I love the two-tone look. So this is the gold and black colorway, you know, gold on this side, on the interior, and then you have the black on the outside. Uh, the cool thing about this is uh, it comes in so many colors. This is the regular Highlight MC. They actually have the Highlight MC LE or limited edition, which comes in a, another slew of colors. Um, so you will definitely find, be able to find a cleat that matches your team uniform colors and maybe even the oh, going away colors, the home colors, alternate colors, you'll find all of that. They do retail for $129, so it is on the expensive end, but again, this is uh, their premium cleat. Um, it's a high cleat, so you know I expect it to be around that price. The limited edition models actually go for $10 more, so that's gonna be $140 for you guys. Uh, you can find them all across the internet, across different channels. Uh, the positions that I recommend it for, uh, because this is a high top cleat, um, what I would say is you actually really feel secure and supported and powerful in this cleat. So if you're a power back, a tight end, a DN, a possession receiver, a linebacker, a DB even, safety, a quarterback even, uh, it is definitely a versatile cleat, um, but you are going to feel some of that power um, you know, when you have these on and when you're running. Uh, so those are the positions that I recommend it for. Uh, if you're a lighter DN, uh, excuse me, if you're a lighter uh, O-line or D-lineman, um, you know, if you're in high school, you can probably fit these as well. Uh, you know, if you're in the collegiate space, I probably would go with something that is uh, a little more, uh, has more stability and built for the lineman positions. But DNs, tight ends, you guys will be fine. Uh, so that's my detailed review. If you guys liked it, hopefully you give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Check out my other cleat reviews in the playlist, and I'll see you guys next time.